Hello and welcome to my world to glory. Now in this episode, we're actually getting into the game. No more web app or companions or um, the trials. Uh, we actually get to start the game. Uh, I was kind of late a few days into starting it, but um, uh, for me, I, I always like to take my time. I don't want to uh, have my dream team built in like the first month and two months later, I'm going to be one of those uh, guys that keep spamming everywhere. FIFA is dead and they don't like to play the game anymore. So uh, with that in mind, I got to start the game on uh, late on Monday night, early Tuesday morning. Um, I did a few of the basic stuff to begin. Uh, the SPCs, the objectives. I tried to earn some coins. I tried to open some packs, see if I can get lucky. Um, I didn't, although I did uh, have uh, a few thousand coins uh, built from me logging into the companion app and the web app um, um, a few times a day and trying to relist uh, the uh, items uh, that I had. Uh, eventually getting somewhere around uh, 20,000 coins I think, plus the, uh, the starter team that I already had which was pretty good for me. Um, I wasn't sure in investing in a team um, since I already had my starter team and I haven't played any games yet, so I wasn't sure what exactly I was looking for. So with that in mind, I was just uh, holding on to the coins until I actually get into the gameplay and see how uh, the game works out. Um, I like it. My first impressions were very good. I liked it. I liked the menu. Uh, some of the necessary stuff are gone. Um, some things are in that are not uh, very good, like the menus um, in, in the uh, key management. But other than that, I like it, how the placement is. Um, I like the SPCs where you can uh, refresh at your leisure where you want and you don't have to wait. I like where the SPC menu is placed now and not where it was before. Um, I don't like, like everybody else, is uh, the squad management um, system. It's very hectic to move around or it might just uh, take a lot of time to get used to it. Uh, we might just be, uh, you, uh, we might be used to the uh, FIFA 19 menu, but if we were, it means that uh, the 19 menu was you know, better and simpler. So, I don't know, the, the FIFA 20 menu seems um, all over the place, uh, but I'm sure it just takes some time to get used to and eventually, you know, we'll, we'll learn to do it on the fly. Um, I didn't do too many advanced SPCs that needed a lot of planning, although I did do the marquee matchups, but those were easy. So, I don't know, because I saw a lot of people complaining about, you know, it's so, uh, to do the SPCs now with this uh, new menu, but we'll have to see. Um, other than that, um, I didn't get too lucky uh, with my packs. As you can see here, um, I didn't get any special packs in particular. Any players that I didn't want or I didn't have a need to use right away, I would just sell. I think this is the period. If you don't get a, a special player in the sense that, you know, he might go extinct um, or he might be in demand when the full game is out. Uh, you just sell and use the coins to make more coins. Um, I didn't get anything special in all the packs that I opened, although I did manage to get some more and I'll probably, uh, and I did get uh, one good player um, that that's going to be on the next video. Hopefully I'll try to upload that as a second upload today. Uh, later on tonight, uh, which uh, was really surprising because I haven't learned the, the walkout mechanics or the board mechanics yet, so I'm not quite sure what I'm getting. Um, here with the uh, um, the loan icon, I got uh, Maldini as a left back, um, which was pretty good, although he's only three games, so we'll see how I'm going to use that. I'm using all my loans, uh, mostly as substitutes. 
follow uh, yours. The, like I said in the uh, previous video, I'm using Virgil as my starting center back for most of uh, the games, as you can see here. Um, I did a few tweaks in the team, but that was all in, in the last video. Um, in this video, where I play a couple of games, uh, squad battles, to see how it works, um, I play with the team that I have. I haven't done any uh, changes yet until I get my hands on uh, actual gameplay and not just squad battles. I want to get my hands on maybe a game of uh, uh, Div Rivals and see how that works against uh, other opponents or maybe play some friendlies. Uh, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I played uh, with this team, it worked quite well. Correa, I really like this player, he's very good. Uh, I think he's very clinical in, in, in front of the, of the goal post. He doesn't miss, almost never. Um, he's one of the best players. Uh, Berge, or Berge, or I'm not quite sure how I'm pronouncing his name, probably killing his name now. Um, the uh, CDM, uh, the, that Belgian, from the Belgian league. He's a tank, he's so tall, he's, he's very good in the midfield. Also the right back, <clears throat> very good, very fast. I mean, I'm going up and down that uh, right wing um, and nobody can catch him. And I really like him a lot. Surprisingly, the keeper is very good. Um, is it, uh, Adrian, I think, from Liverpool. Uh, very good, very, very good. I'm, well, I was very surprised, especially for a common card. Um, He's very good. Uh, what else? Parolo, uh, not that, not that uh, fond of because um, this year the uh, the meta looks to be very heavy, uh, very heavy on pace, and Parolo is a bit slow. Uh, if he if he catches up to you or if he's next to you, he's very good on winning the ball. But if he's against a, a fast player with good acceleration and he's gone, then he, he can't catch up to that. So this is a player that I really need to probably uh, swap out right at the beginning. Although I think the first player that I do need to swap out is going to be the left-hand uh, defensive side because Virgil's contract is going to expire. So I need to find a more permanent solution. Although I do have something in mind and I'm working on. So I'm probably going to have that uh, maybe in the next video probably have that left hand side uh, swapped with something uh, more permanent. Um, other than that, uh, the milestone and the XP and all the uh, all the new stuff added into the objectives look okay. Some of the rewards don't seem that rewarding based on what you have to do, um, but still they're nice. Um, it takes a lot of time to complete some stuff. I don't know how many uh, experience points you can lose to it and still be able to achieve something so that makes it maybe uh, a bit more um, I don't know like uh, you're rushed into trying to do so many do so many objectives together because you are afraid to lose out on the experience but um, I think with everything uh, you uh, there still should be a margin of error where you could lose, you know, a lot of XP and still be able to achieve like the top tier reward. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Uh, as far as uh, squad battles, um, it's the same like every year. Um, I always play on legendary. Uh, I always form uh, squad battles uh, for uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Elite one every year by playing. Well, <clears throat> later in the game when everybody when everything is settled in, um, I usually have to play around 17, 18 games uh, of uh, legendary to get elite one. So I almost every year for the first few months I always do that to get the rewards because elite one rewards are very good for just you know uh, two three games a day, <clears throat> if not even that. So we try that uh, now at the beginning. Um, I think I won the first game 2-1 um, and the next one 2-1 one, or something like that or 3-1 um, which is not very good by playing legendary because uh, you don't even get the base points you need to score like at least three goals to be able to get more points than the base points that legendary gives you 
um, otherwise you should uh, play on a, a lower um, difficulty. Um, but it was alright. Um, I think I can manage it from the beginning, although I did lose uh, one game of uh, squad battles very heavy. I think I lost 4-1 or 4-2. I got pummeled by the CPU. I don't know why, and it wasn't that hard of a team. But uh, I was thinking of maybe switching it down because at the beginning I can't afford to lose, uh, you can't afford to lose points on squad battles. But eventually I, uh, I played a few more games and uh, I played it on Legendary so, and I uh, managed to win them sort of quite comfortably. Uh, comfortably, so I wasn't too worried about that. I think I'm going to be playing all the games on Legendary. I don't know how many I'm going to actually record because that's not the point. I think the games that I'm actually going to record of me playing are going to be mostly Division Rivals and um, the uh, Weekend League when it starts, which is going to be probably next week. So that's it for me. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.